One of the best growth hackers of the Netherlands is here today with us. His name is David Arnaud and he's here to share us his top three growth hacks of all time. David, fire away, your number three. Yeah, uh, so my third favorite, favorite is a little bit unconventional one. It's uh, an example of a popular mouthwash called Listerine. And uh, Listerine was invented in the 80, 1880s. And at first it wasn't used as a mouthwash, it was used as an antiseptic. And sales were good, but they weren't great. So the son of the owner, Gerard, he came up with a fake medical condition. He used the Latin word uh, hal halitis and added osis at the end to create this fake medical condition of bad breath. So what people thought was actually bad breath then turned into a medical condition. And they ran a series of uh, advertising campaigns with this fictional uh, persona called Edna. And Edna didn't have any friends and her kids didn't like her and she had trouble getting married because she had this medical condition. And much like many yogurt companies today, Listerine's was one of the best examples of medicalization and a, really, a growth hack that I really, really like. That sounds amazing. Never heard about that. But, and what's your number two? So number two uh, is much more conventional. It's uh, a very, very uh, used one today in growth hacking. And it's the one of Dropbox, which is a file sharing app. And Bo Dropbox is the perfect example of the two-sided uh, incentive referral program. So Dropbox was a complicated product to sell and very difficult to explain. So they tried a bunch of online customer acquisition channels and acquisition through AdWords. And it was costing them way too much. They were spending about $300 per customer for a 99 a dollar product. So what they did is they sort of copied PayPal's refer a friend program. So when you would invite somebody to Dropbox, you would actually receive free storage space yourself and you would give storage space to the person you were inviting. And the results were incredible. Uh, there were 2.8 million invites sent as of April 2010 and they grew from 100,000 to 4 million users from 2008 to 2010 uh, by spending almost nothing on advertising. Very smart. And your number one? My number one is probably the most famous example of growth hacking out there, but I think it's important to share it, and it's the one of Airbnb. Uh, so in the early days, uh, Airbnb asked his users and did some research and asked them, uh, asked their current clients, where did you come before you came to Airbnb to rent uh, short-term apartments? And the answer was almost always Craigslist. So the smart team at Airbnb reversed engineered. It actually wasn't easy at all, but this is why engineering is so important for growth hacking. They reversed engineered engineered Airbnb, uh, Craigslist, which is the equivalent of Marktplatz here in the Netherlands, so that every time somebody would post an apartment on Airbnb, it would also get posted on Craigslist. And Craigslist had millions and millions and millions of people visiting the website on a weekly basis. So basically, they were piggybacking off of the huge audience of, uh, of, uh, of Craigslist. And this is one of the main rules or sort of techniques that we use in growth hacking. It's called OPN, Other People's Networks. Your audience is already hanging out on other people's websites or platforms. How can you piggyback off of that audience to drive them to your, uh, to your product or website? Really interesting story. Thank you so much, David. And for you guys cool. at home, if you want to know more about OPN, for example, go to interconnection.com. Bye-bye.